Hi, I'm Dylan from Gamius. I'm the game director for Lake, and today I'd like to take you on a ride along with Meredith during one of her work days. Every morning starts with local DJ Jack Reynolds. Good morning, P.O. P.O. Positive or Pet P? Will it be a P or a double P? Walter Morgan has the answer. Every now and then I spend some time in Providence Oaks, and I'm always happy to see this beautiful and orderly village and its well-mannered inhabitants. Did someone just call me well-mannered? <laughs> I'll take it. Let's see if the weather will behave today. A bit of sun to start the day, but mostly overcast heading into the evening. Back to the music. That's Walter Morgan on the phone. He's one of the characters you'll meet as you play. He might sound nicer on the radio than he really is. Let's take a look at the map to see where we're heading. Not all destinations need a mail delivery. This spot has been pinpointed because your colleague Frank told you that Robert Harris wanted to talk to you. Robert Harris is a lumberjack and lives and works in the forest. You've met him before and he told you that he's opposing plans to build apartments in this area. Oh, this is close to where I had my first kiss. That's one of her musings. They're triggered when Meredith visits various places around Providence Oaks and help you learn a little more about her background. But back to Robert and his apartments. By meeting him earlier, you've already found out that he's not particularly fond of dealing with bureaucracy. And while he's not the type of guy to ask for help, the game does present you dialogue options in which Meredith offers to help him out. This works the same for lots of other situations in Lake. If you're not interested in spending time with other people, you don't have to. Let's see what my choices will be here. Hey, Meredith, I'm up here. Hey, Robert. Wow, that's really high. What? I can't hear you. Maybe you should come down. Sorry, I can't hear you. Maybe I should come down first. We may or may not have deliberately objectified a lumberjack here. Can you hear me now? Hi, Meredith. Loud and clear. Over. Thanks for coming out here. This arborist job came up suddenly. Awesome. I'd love to try that sometime. It's great up there. I used to climb a lot. Still do, actually. But now I get paid for it, too. Anyways. I figure it would also be good for you to see where the apartments are planned. Oh, here? Really? Ugh, what a shame. Fear not. I have masterminded a wildcard plan. Tell me all about it. I've scheduled a recording session at a professional sound studio. Um, right. And then? Well, we'll start jamming. Some music producer accidentally drives by. Offers us a contract on the spot. Next stop, rich and famous. I got a feeling you're not being serious right now. Yeah, you got me there. It'll actually be a radio message to get the people in Providence Oaks involved. This afternoon at Jack Reynolds' bar. A professional sound studio, huh? Okay, I'm in. Great. Meet me there after work. I'm gonna get back up in this tree now. See you later. Bye. Be careful up there. Thanks. Well, there you have it. This is what I chose to say to Robert. And it means that I'll be part of a recording session later that day with Robert and Jack to get the people of Providence Oaks involved in preventing the construction of apartments. The workday ends when Meredith has delivered all her mail. You'll meet quite a few people while doing this and can get caught up in little storylines like the one with Robert. Lake is never earth-shatteringly dramatic and that's just how we intended it to be. Lake offers a relaxing slice of life story that puts you in the driver's seat. After being a mail carrier for two weeks, you will get to choose what Meredith will do next. Will she stay in Providence Oaks 
or will she go back to her old life? It's all up to you, and we can't wait to find out what you choose. Thanks for riding along with me. We can't wait to welcome you to Providence Oaks this September 1st on Xbox, Steam, and the Epic Game Store.